A lot of you in this corner just proving yourself to be weird left wingers. Anyway, let's get straight into today's video. So what's happening guys? Little second video of the day. Anyway, just to address a few different things. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, Decker, Cashman, etc. in the um, comments. I don't support what Decker did there. I think he's an absolute moron for doing that. What sort of weird? I would say all that to a bird just to try and get a bit. Not me and not really a normal geezer. Maybe someone who is a bit strange, which I'm not saying is a top geezer, as I've said multiple times. But the fact he did that doesn't prove he's a bike. And the fact that loads of people make up garbage in the comments doesn't prove he's a bike. And that's my point, man. It's like, I just don't get it. And a lot of you are trying to make out that uh, our oh, hate speech, etc. Now, where does the line go between freedom of speech and hate speech? I think everyone should be free to express their opinion. Like I said, if people don't like it, you don't have to listen. <clears throat> I haven't really listened to uh, much of what Deck has been saying in his videos recently. Like I said, I've been a bit busy. I've just read the titles. But most of it does look like reposts of Tommy Robinson videos. And Tommy Robinson is most certainly not a racist at all. I've followed Tommy Robinson for a very long time. And he's far from racist. He just speaks about issues and highlights problems that we should all speak about. Expose the BBC for the things they get up to. You know what I mean? He is a true British patriot top geezer and a load of weird lefties jumping in my comments to try and write abuse he's not going to change that i don't really care what you absolute morons think because let's have it right you'll all sit there and like support dimitri mushrooms who walks around a kid's fair filming kids on his phone that's normal isn't it you all support vc who jumps on a bird's back and like attacks the life out of her that's normal, innit? And you all are jumping on me and other people for pointing out the fact that the whole world can't move to this small little island. If we go somewhere else in the world and have um, an accident or something, you have to pay for medical care. People are jumping off boats. Men, military-aged men, are jumping off boats every single day. Over 90% of a male jumping the NHS queues for dental appointments, for doctor's appointments, urgent medical... Um, appointments needed on the nhs etc in the hospital people are all getting pushed further down waiting queues housing no one can get housed the prices of housing has gone for absolutely through the roof people are just talking about it and highlighting it also there's a man a fellow in the in the house of lords who was talking about it the other day who was saying if immigration is cut to a third to one third of what it what it's been for the last two years in 40 years an indigenous child born to indigenous parents today will be a minority in their own country if people don't see that as a problem and an issue and think and that that's not wrong you are the problem and jumping in my comments trying to call me all sorts of names under the sun is not going to change my opinion one little bit trust me now like i say i do try and keep this more political stuff more for over on my main channel really because this is a uh, my dark side just chat shit down the chippy sort of thing, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, but I suppose we've had to get a bit more uh, serious today. Because, <clears throat> yeah, it's DH, a lot of you don't like him. But if they're taking away his rights, like they took away Tommy's, they take away yours. Yeah, you might agree with what's going on now. You might want all these Muslim men to come over and take all the housing so your kids have to live with you till the 30-odd year old and then go out there and pay extortion at rents and not be able to get jobs and not be able to get appointments on the NHS. The NHS will probably be gone in a couple of years if this continues. You know, maybe you guys support all that. But jumping in my comments and writing abuse is not going to make me support it. That's just an out-and-out -out fact. So, big shout out to all the real ones. Big shout out to everyone who can actually see what's happening. It's not, um, Tommy Robinson is not racist. This isn't about the colour of anybody's skin. A lot of immigrants have come here over the years and yeah, they've benefited our society <clears throat> and made things better. You know what I mean? A lot of good people, Sikhs, Jamaicans, all good, great people. You know what I mean? I know loads of them, brilliant people. No one's saying that. What we're saying is, Masses and masses, thousands and thousands of unvetted, unchecked males coming from war zones into our country every day we know nothing about. It's quite clearly, for anyone with a brain, not a good thing. So, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We'll see you all on the next video. Don't Thanks. forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Get yourself over to Instagram, journeys underscore JDP. We're also on Facebook, journeys with JDP. And we'll see you all on the next video, guys. Peace.